Hey guys, welcome back. This weekend project will be making a mid-century modern plant stand. The materials you're going to need start with some inch and a quarter dowels, some one by two material, and make sure that these are of the same species of wood. That way you can color match them as best you can. For tools, we only need two power tools, a circular saw and a drill, and then you'll need this, you see that in the yellow, a doweling kit, as well as some 150 grit sandpaper. So I first get started by making some rough measurements of how tall I want it to be, and then I cut my dowels to the proper length. Now, I use a circular saw for this because I want to show just how easy it is. I know I have a miter saw just next to it, which seems kind of funny to be using the smaller tool, but again, I just wanted to emphasize that this is not difficult. You don't need an expensive miter saw. So now we're going to move on to cutting the half lap joints. This is how we're going to join these two pieces of wood together. So first, make a mark directly in the center of one of the pieces, and then use the width of the other to basically mark out how wide you want that half lap joint to be. Then you can use your straight edge or square to transfer those lines across the top. And now we're gonna go ahead and clamp this down so that we can use our circular saw to cut out that half lap joint. The key to doing this properly and accurately is to set the depth to exactly half the width of your material. So that's why I drew that line there and then I was able to set that so you know that the furthest down it can cut is halfway. Then you simply just start cutting out. You already marked the bit that needs to go, so you just take the circular saw and run it back and forth until you have that all cleaned out. So this is how it fits together, and you can see that's gonna be the center of the plant stand. So now it's time to measure out exactly where we want the legs to land so that we can determine the height of the planter. I'm choosing 10 inches, that's how high it's gonna sit above the ground and I'm just making that mark on one of them and then transferring that same mark on all four pieces. That way it's going to be at the same exact bit. Next you're going to need to drill some holes for your dowels. So first start off with the center piece, drill two holes and then the included doweling jig which I will actually have a link to in the description comes with these um, round studs that actually have a point on the end. So you can insert them into the hole and then tap them onto whatever surface you want to transfer that mark to. So just as I'm doing here, I'm just using a leg to tap that and then now I have a perfectly accurate template for those holes. So I just go back through and everywhere I see those indentations, I just drill a hole. Once you're done with this step, you're actually ready to assemble. So I recommend doing a dry assembly where you put everything together with the dowels, make sure it all fits before you do one with glue. I did that, I just didn't film it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and jump right into the uh, assembly here. And this is the final assembly because I'm adding glue. So all you're gonna do is add a little bit of glue into the holes um, and onto the dowels. You don't need to lather the glue in between the pieces. Um, it'll be plenty strong for what it's gonna be doing. Remember, we're just holding a plant. So you add the glue into the holes, insert the dowels, and then tap it together. So I just do one half at a time, and then once both of those halves are glued up, I'll add some glue into the center pieces, and then I can securely fashion those half lap joints together. So that's it, you're done. It's honestly that simple. This project was cheap, it only cost $10. I built it in less than an hour and it is super easy. Anybody can do it. So that's it for this one. If you like the project, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. bucks. This plant was 50 bucks. Yeah.